Hello, welcome to another Purple Insider Extra. Matthew Collar here along with Sam Extra. And before we get into our conversation, we've got a draft guide out at purpleinsider.substack.com. If you even sign up for just one month, you get the draft guide and all of our draft coverage as well. So please go check that out, purpleinsider.substack.com. Okay, Sam, well, you have this fun idea to talk about, and I'm really excited uh, that a bunch of clubs in Europe, soccer clubs, are getting together to form a Super League, or at least discussing this. And if the NFL decided to do it, would the Minnesota Vikings be included in a Super League? Now, it's 12 clubs, right? So that basically is, would the Minnesota Vikings be in the top 12 if they decided to form a football Super League? What do you think? Yeah, like in no other sport would this be a question. Minnesota would be getting overlooked. Minnesota would be stuck in the lesser league. But in football, I think I think they might be. They've got an amazing facility. They've got owners who I think would be intrigued at the potential money-making proposition that, that this would present because that's what it's all about. It's about the TV rights and it's about the packed stadiums and just the, the name brands that will be associated with it. I think the Wilfs aren't tied to Minnesota necessarily. The Wilfs are businessmen. So I think they might be intrigued by the idea. And frankly, there's a lot of small markets in the NFL that that might get, you know, kind of hopped over by a team like Minnesota that is kind of a kind of a ratings giant. Like when it comes to football, Minnesota, I think, gets eyeballs. They don't in any other sport. But in football, the Vikings are a legacy team. They have a lot of good rivalries, particularly in the NFC. And th they might be in the top dozen. Now, if you look at it sort of team by team, you know, uh, NFC East, probably going to get a lot of teams in. AFC East, probably going to get a lot of teams in. So I don't think they're in like the top, you know, six preferred teams. But if you're battling for like the 10th, 11th or 12th spot, uh, yeah, I think the Vikings might be squarely in the mix. Yeah, as long as uh, you don't have to have a Super Bowl ring in order to get into the Super Ooh, League. Ooh, low blow. Uh, hey uh, now, here, okay, so one of the reasons that I think they would be in is that they have some of the best owners in the NFL in terms of how much money they spend to put the product on the field. We could certainly debate how they've spent some of the money <clears throat> at the quarterback position and not so much on the offensive line and so forth. We can have that discussion, but almost every year, the Vikings are spending all the way to the top of the salary cap, new stadium, new facility. Those things are important, but also even their history, when you go back and how many incredibly important players they have to the history of the NFL, even without a Super Bowl ring, in every era, you have those types of players. You have your Alan Page and your Purple People Eaters, and then you have your Randy Moss and so forth. And then even now, in recent years, this has been a very competitive franchise. I don't think that they would have a, an argument against someone like Pittsburgh, someone like Dallas, San Francisco, those teams with a lot of championship rings. But when you think about who the Green Bay Packers' biggest rival is, I think that some people outside of the Midwest might think that it's Chicago because that always gets pumped up. But I think it's much more the Minnesota Vikings that are the biggest rival of Green Bay. And if you were to make a Super League, you would always want the teams that are the most important in your top five or six to have their biggest rivals in there too so you could have constant rivalry games. Now, my question though is, how would the Vikings perform in their present state against the top 12 teams in the NFL? I think that's where it gets a little bit tougher. I know that people want this team to be really successful next year, but when you start comparing to the best teams in the entire NFL, I'm not sure that they are in the top 12 right now before the draft. Yeah, if we're going by top 12 teams like on the football field, they're probably not. They've got a ways to go. If we're going like which 12 teams get in the Super League, I think kind of notoriety and reputation would matter maybe a lot more than performance because the Buffalo Bills, really good team, do you think they would be in? Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's hard to necessarily – because. Football is great because you can be in like a smaller TV market and still be pretty popular like the Green Bay Packers. They are they're a legacy team because they've just been there forever and the, the fans own the team. But, you know, back to your original question, the Vikings were, you know, let's let's call it like it was about the 
18th best team last last year because they're picking 14th. I think that's fair to say. Have they improved in free agency enough to put them in the top half, like the top 15? Uh, yeah, maybe. I think like kind of get, getting guys back from injury, adding to that defense. Yeah, I think they're a top half team. Are they top 12? I think that's for the draft to decide. The uh, Vegas folks do not think that they are top 12. Uh, in setting the over-under at eight and a half, they have 15 teams that have a higher over-under than the Vikings. And I would be surprised if the draft really changes that because I also think that Vegas is kind of factoring in what they expect you to do in the draft. So it would have to be something really game changing. I think they would be on the cusp of that. And when we get closer and when we look at the roster and try to figure out the schedule, how many wins and losses will do that, that I think we'll probably find that our projection for next season has them right where they were last year, only a better version of that, meaning they're in the conversation for the playoffs and they're a 500 team at some point in the year. And then I think this group can go a different direction than they did last year. But yeah, it's, it's an interesting conversation of comparing the 12 franchises, which I think the Vikings are decidedly in, versus if you were to do it just based on the 12 thing, uh, teams that you think will be good for next year. So an, an interesting and, and fun discussion. And uh, I see a lot of people who like soccer are very much against it, but I don't know. It sounds pretty fun to me. So, but I'm, I didn't know nothing about soccer. So maybe that's why I think it's fun. Uh, purpleinsider.substack.com. Check that out. And uh, we will catch you next time on Purple Insider Extra.